What is going on YouTube? I hope you're all having a fantastic day and boy do we have a product for you today. We have the J5 Create Triple Display Docking Station the or the JCD 543. It has 13 ports that connects via a single USB-C port that is capable of uh, 100 watts of power delivery. So you don't even need to connect your laptop charger to any other port. You can just connect it straight up into the docking station and uh, 100 watts of it is going to be transferred to the laptop. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just open up the box and see what we're dealing with here because uh, we've got a lot to cover. And you can even see here already that we've got a really smart cable management mechanism. So let's get into the box. Oh boy, we've got another box. So I'll set this aside. And the, the guide. And another one. No, this is not a guide. This is just a, a thank you note, I suppose. You're welcome. So let's get into this other box. All right, no more boxes. We're in. Well, we're dealing with a substantial little docking station, but it's, I mean, of course, anything but little. But it is very thin, though. I'm actually impressed. It is very thin. I thought it would be bigger than this, but it's not. So, uh, right off the bat, let's talk about the ports. Let's talk about the ports. So, a triple display docking station, but it has four ports. It can support up to three of them being used at the same time because as far as I know, Windows and Mac OS, well, Windows doesn't support any more than three in a, you know, if you're not like uh, virtualizing the display, there are tricks that you can use to use even more displays than three, but regularly you can't use any more than three. And Mac OS with the Apple Silicon, uh, they support up to two extra monitors, so they can't even take advantage of the three. Again, without any tricks. So you can probably do that, but not in a normal setting. So we've got an HDMI port, we've got another HDMI port, and it says like here, it says this or this. All right, so we've got a display port here and an HDMI port. So I suppose they are being driven by the same chip, so only one of them can work at one time. And each of these HDMI ports are capable, and, and of course the display port, are capable of displaying up to 4K at 30 FPS or at 30 Hertz, which indicates that this is an HDMI 1.4 port, right? And of course we have the VGA uh, with the threat to lock in the port, and that can display up to uh, 1080p image. And another HDMI port with the same standard. We've got a, a microphone and speaker combo input or output depending on how you want to use it. This is especially beneficial for laptops that uh, don't have a combo jack. So laptops either have um, a combo jack, which is essentially the same port, or they have a separate audio out and a separate out audio in. And that works fine if you have a separate set of speakers that you connect to the audio outs and a separate microphone that you uh, connect to the audio in. But if you have like a headset that only has one audio jack, you need to uh, get an adapter that turns that one audio jack with the three lines into an audio in a separate audio in jack and a separate audio uh, out jack. So if your laptop doesn't have a combo jack, uh, you you get one now. And now we get to the USB port. So we've got three USB three point. It's written here three point oh, but on the box it says three point one. Gen 1, but it does say that it supports up to 5 gigabits of transfer speed, so I'm going to go with 3.1 Gen 1. 3.0 is like 4.8 gigabits per second, so it really doesn't make much of a difference. The same standards of speed is also in the USB 3.1 um, USB-C port right here, so they're essentially the same standard. We've got another USB-C port right here, which is meant for the power input. So I assume this is not for data transfer. This is for when you want to, well, you want to charge your laptop, but don't want to connect it to an extra USB-C port. And of course, you have a gigabit Ethernet port that also has light indicators for 
upstream connection and, and, and downstream um, data data transfer. And of course, a uh, an SD card, a full size SD card, and a micro SD card slot. So there's not really much more you can ask in terms of features. And over here, we've got a rubber padding uh, for your laptop. So the metal, even though this part is not metal, this part is, is plastic, doesn't scratch your laptop because this part is metal. So it elevates it a little bit so it doesn't touch the bottom of your laptop to damage it. And then you open this part up. And you see that the cable, the pretty long cable just tucked away. So it says, stop, users, driver download required for USB graphic ports. This is signaling the US, the virtualization of the displays. So uh, yeah, I assume one, I think it's one, I, it should be one of the displays that needs to be virtualized. Uh, and it's like emulating the display so it's not like a hardware display port. You got to download a graphics driver. I, I think I already have one on my computer. Let me check what it's called. It's called, um, yeah, it's called DisplayLink USB graphics software for Windows. Uh, so yeah, with that, you can virtualize displays. So if your hardware doesn't support extra, um, extra displays, you can virtualize it. You can emulate uh, an extra port using that driver. This is the trick that uh, docking stations use when the hardware that they're connecting to doesn't allow additional displays connected through hardware because they don't have the processing to do that, but they can trick the, the hardware into thinking it has extra, US, extra HDMI outs or DisplayPort outs uh, by emulating it through software. Uh, so yeah, you gotta do that to get the extra displays, uh, at least one of them, uh, on this particular unit. So guys, you need to go to J5Create's uh, driver's download page and uh, find your product here. And over here we have the docking stations. So you click on that and you got the JCD543 USB-C triple display docking station right here. You click on that, you download the driver and uh, it gets you to the installation window which you will do your thing. And there you go, my display just shows now. Now let's take a look at the cable. The cable is uh, decently long. I wish it was a little bit longer and yeah, it, it, you, you can't pull on it that that's that's the length but it's it's a fairly decent amount and if i no no it doesn't come out this way you gotta take it out from one of these ends you can take it out from either end left or right depending on where the main main usb c port of your laptop is so you do this you close it up and it closes shut it closes shut and now you have this board so it's still it's still meant to be used under your laptop all right and of course i mean it, it does look a little ugly if you just like put it to the side and it's this like bulky thing on the side of your table or your, or your desk and you just connect it with this display with this USB C cable so yeah it is very much meant to sit underneath your laptop it doesn't take any extra space than your laptop does uh and it is the same length as well let's say most laptops so uh, this is what you are getting. You got you get 13 ports out of this very potent USB-C connector, and you can really turn your laptop into a workstation. And this is obviously for power users, all right? Because J5 Create already has much smaller units, or let's say much smaller mini docking stations like this JCD384. There's there's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole variety of smaller mini docking stations. This is one of their bigger ones and one of the most uh, feature packed ones or port packed ones uh, to really turn your uh, laptop into a workstation. Of course, the focus of this particular unit is the display compatibility, right? So if you're looking for extra displays up to three of them, uh, I think one of them can be added through hardware because, well, 
uh, laptops do support an extra display with like a USB adapter, but the other two you will have to emulate using the DisplayLink software to, to trick your hardware, to trick your laptop into thinking, no, it's just a, it's just a one uh, HDMI out that I'm using, but I'm getting three displays out of it. So yeah, uh, that's it for the review of the JCD543. It's, it's a beast. It's a beast but it's a very thin beast and a very, very capable beast. So thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon in the next video.